Ah, uh, God, good. I've had some good things happening to me recently, like the last uh, last couple months. It's been fantastic. I've been um, I booked a pilot for NBC for a new sitcom that's coming out, which blows my mind. It's amazing. It's amazing. I booked a, a national commercial a couple months ago, and I got this sweet new job at this restaurant that I've been working at. Um, and they got rid of a dude. I think they fired him. But it, now I'm working like four or five days a week there. It's amazing because I was in, I've been in such a, a rough place. I've been in such like a, a cocoon, like a depression. Like I was wasn't doing anything. I was just sitting around my apartment playing video games or, you know, I, I spent a lot of time like having conversations with people, which is very important. You know, I've been doing, I've been living like I was rich for the last year of my life. I've been living on, on credit cards and I've been working part time. Like I, like I have money. I realized that, or I think that this career that I'm in, this acting career, you know, I'm out in LA, I want to be an actor. Um, you got to have money to do it. Or if you don't got to have money, but you have to fake it, and that's even nonsense. You have to live without the stress of money, and that's what I've been doing, particularly like the last five months. Uh, I like I just been living off credit cards. I got so much debt right now, like fifteen grand on my credit cards is killing me. But the upside is that I I, I don't care about the money. I just don't care about it at all. I don't care. When I go into these auditions these days, I don't worry. I'm not like, God, I remember thinking, like, if I book this, if I book this, this will pay off my my credit card debt for this, you know, commercials. And I've just gotten that nonsense out of my head. It's not about the money. It's about being yourself when you go into these auditions and having a good time as if you were going to a party where all these people are hanging out that you haven't met before, you know, and they're even expecting you. Maybe you know one person at the party. And you get there, and it's up to you. You know, you can you can do whatever you want. But I say go in and be cool as hell. Go in and be yourself. That's what I've been doing. And it's easy to do that when you have money, when you don't have to worry about it. When there's nothing on the line, you could just, you know, you just uh, you just float. You just do whatever the hell you want to do in life. If you want to, you know, race cars, you race cars. If you want to fly planes, you fly planes. But when you got no money, not that I got no money, but I don't have much. I mean, I'm living hand to mouth. I barely pay my rent. Every month, I barely pay my rent every month. My, I haven't missed any credit card payments, thank God, but, you know, that's right now. We'll see, what, we'll see what happens. I don't care. I don't care anymore. Money is so irrelevant. It doesn't matter. It's so, it, it's just a, a creation of society. It doesn't affect us as human beings at all. All you have to do is have enough to, to eat and to have a place to stay and, like, have a, I mean, in L.A., it, kind of got to have a car. This is what I mean. I've been living like I have money. I put all this shit on credit. I, I, I finance my car. Having good credit is one of the most important things in the world you can do if you're coming from the Midwest, if you're coming from a family that doesn't have a, a lot of money. If you want to come out to LA and you want to be an actor, you've, you've got to get, find a way. You got to have good credit. It's worth it. Um...